All right, to add music to your video, you're going to use Free Music Archive. I'm going to go to Music for Videos. Here I can search by genre. Okay. Um, these are all the licenses I'm allowing to look at right now. You can choose different ones. And then I'll just assume this T with Grandma is the one I want. Um, it's under, it's a public domain. So that's nice. Um, okay, so I'm going to download it. On your student account, getting into your downloads folder is difficult. So you're going to go to Show All within your Chrome browser. I'm going to minimize this. And then you're going to pull up a folder for your music. And you should be able to drag and drop it into that music folder. So right there it is. Now, when I go into Hit Film, you'll see when I import this media, that Hit Film is not very happy with this file. So here I get a file error, and it's doing that to all of them. So this is how you're going to fix it. In Zenworks, you have access to Audacity. You're going to import audio. And then go in and find your music. And open. And then, once you've opened it, you're going to export audio as an mp3, and I would rename this. So you want to get rid of this extension .mp3, and then I'm going to just rename it um, Fixed T with Grandma, and Save. And then here you're going to click and remove these labels up to track number, and then hit OK. Um, actually, I did not see where that exported, so, okay, looks like it's on my desktop. So then I'll go back to hit film, import from desktop, uh, here's fixed T with grandma, and now you'll see that the file has loaded, and it, you can tell because it's green, and then it shows up here too that you can listen to, and then you can just grab that and drop it into your audio track over here. And you can splice it just like you do with video. So if you get to the end of the audio track and you want to you know, cut it off, you can splice it. You can, of course, move it back and forth with your arrow. And as you can see right here, I had it fade out at the end. So I just used, I hit control and I clicked and did it again to create these two boxes, which allows me to alter the sound and so it fades out.